And now for Pud, and Pud doesn't get more classic than jelly and ice cream. Yes, we're going to make our own delicious strawberry and raspberry wobbles served with ice cream. And the ingredients are really very, very straightforward. You need a mixture of raspberry and cranberry juice, some fresh strawberries and some gelatine. Now the thing that you need to do first is to prepare the gelatine and you can also nowadays get hold of vegetarian gelatine if you want to. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to mix together your two juices, your raspberry and your cranberry or you could just use all raspberry juice. And you want to put about a third of it into your saucepan, a very small saucepan, probably the smallest saucepan that you've got. Now, it's really important that you put the juice into the saucepan first. That's the big tip on this recipe. And then you want to take your sachet of gelatine. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle this over the top of the juice. You just sprinkle it. Just let it sprinkle in on the top. And quite a magical thing happens after you leave it. At the moment, it's quite watery. You don't want to stir it. You don't want to do anything to it at all. Just sprinkle it on the top of your raspberry and cranberry juice. And at the moment, if you shake the pan a little bit, it's a bit watery. But if you just leave that for about a minute, it will actually go quite hard, sponge-like. And that's called sponging your gelatine. That's the most difficult bit about this recipe. Next thing you want to do is to prepare your strawberries. So we've got wonderful strawberries, lots of lovely fresh fruit here. You could use grapes, you could use blueberries, more raspberries if you wanted to. But we're going to use strawberries. Now you can either make them in small teacups or ramekins and then when they're set you can turn them out, which is fun. Or you don't have to turn them out, you can do them in glasses. Like that. And then you can put your fruit into your little pots, however you're going to do them. And as remember, as I said, you can mix the fruit up if you want to. It's really important that we have lots of fruit in our diet. Just pile that in like that. Okay. And then go back to your gelatine and it's going to start to firm up a little bit. What I'm now going to do is put the heat on very, very gently. And you need to have quite a low heat because what you mustn't do is you mustn't boil it. So you just want to very gently just watch it dissolve over the heat, nice and gently, and just swirl that around. And it really doesn't take very long at all. And I'm just going to now just move it around. And you can see that almost all of that gelatine has dissolved into the liquid and it hasn't boiled. Turn the heat off and then very carefully and gently you want to pour that into your, the rest of your juice. And then mix it together, give it a really good mix and then pour it over your fruit. I love it, when you pour it in, all of a sudden it all floats to the top, fantastic. Just like that. And then put them on a tray and pop them in the fridge for about four hours until they firm up. And then the fun bit happens. OK, they've now set and they're wobbling well and good. So you can either just serve them in their glasses like that or what you can do is just take them and just stick them in the hot water. You want to get a grown-up to do this. And then just give them a shake like that and they should come out really nicely yeah are we feeling lucky are we feeling wobbly what do we think oh I can hear it wobbling <gasps> it's a good bit wow it's such a relief when it all works strawberry and raspberry wobbles would not be the same without just a little bit of oh ice cream stay on the top like that and then because fresh fruit is so important and we need to have loads of it what I suggest is that you just garnish with more 
lovely strawberries or blueberries or summer berries just sitting on the side there like that. Don't slice them up too much. It's quite nice to just leave the stems on like that. And then all you've got to do is get yourself some spoons, sit down and enjoy them. I hope you've enjoyed my cookery session for the four to six year olds and I hope we've given you lots of hints and tips of how you can shine in the kitchen with your family. And don't forget you can pick up the recipes from www.shinyschool.co.uk and don't forget we'd like to hear from you, we'd like your comments, perhaps you can send us some pictures of some of the food you've cooked up or maybe you've got your own recipes that might be better than mine.